Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm well. Thank you for asking. Uh, welcome back to next episode of Pokemon Shining Pearl. Uh, I am live on Twitch right now. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, hello as well. Uh, so we're moving into our second episode. So before I start, there's a couple things I'd like to do. In our last episode, we uh, did not look at the Pokemon that we have and their stats. So we'll make sure we do that right away. So we have our Turtwig here. I've got him uh, holding a Quick Claw. Uh, careful Nature, which is Lowered Special Attack plus Special Defense. Now, I don't know if that's good or not. Um, with the type of moves that we can give to our Turtwig. Hopefully it's okay, um, because I didn't I didn't go and restart uh, and try and get the best nature. I just grabbed the first one. I don't know, I feel like that's more natural, more natural way to play. Uh, and then for our Shinx, we have a hardy nature Shinx, who has, uh, it looks like a, uh, that's a neutral nature to me, with Intimidate, so that's pretty good, having Intimidate. Uh, and Overgrow, of course, for our starter. Now, uh, in the last episode as well, I think I might have explained it on stream, but not for YouTube. Uh, some rules that we will go through this playthrough. Now, this is not a Nuzlocke. This is just a standard playthrough where I have most of the team members in my head already. And I, if you're uh, keen of mind, you may have picked up on some of my team members as well. Uh, in the title screen and in a previous video that I've made. Uh, so that'll roughly be our team. Uh, and we won't kill anyone off, <laughs> luckily. Um, but one rule that I will be implementing is that uh, my style of play, I like to play much more like the anime. And so in the anime, you when Ash goes into battle a gym leader, for example, he, it's always a fair matchup. So if they have three Pokemon, he has three Pokemon, and it's a 3v3. So what we're going to do each time we reach a gym is we're going to look up how many Pokemon they have, and we're going to go through that gym with only that amount of Pokemon in our team. So, for example, the Oribo City Gym, Rourke, um, I think his name was Rourke, he had a Geodude, an Onix, and a Kranidos, so three Pokemon. Now, we haven't got three yet, so it wasn't an issue for us. But we would have three Pokemon in our party, put the rest into the boxes in the PC, and then we would go through the gym. Also, during a battle, we can only use one healing item per battle. So a potion, a super potion. Uh, we cannot revive anyone. And uh, we're only using one item because that's roughly about the same as what they do. Um, whether it's a full restore or an antidote or whatever it might be, we can use one healing item, one medicine item uh, in our battle against them as well. Okay, so a couple little rules for us before we start up. Um, and I think that we're ready to go. Now, one thing that kind of annoyed me were, that I realised after the fact was that we now have the ability to do the mystery gifts, and the mystery gift for Mew and Jirachi is right here with these two guys. So, why hello there. It looks like you've played Let's Go and Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? Yeah, of course. I'll take a Mew. Thank you very much. Would you like to give Mew a nickname? No, no, no. I'd like to keep it as Mew. Thank you very much. Mew has been added to your party. I'm sure he'll be a good partner to you. Thank you very much. Hey Gramps, how are we? Oh, you're there. And I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. You obtained a Jirachi. So that's how you get Mew and Jirachi. Uh, would you like to give Jirachi a nickname? No. Now, I don't think I have actually had Mew or Jirachi in a mainline series game before. So that's quite cool. Now, as you can see on the side, I've got my Pearl Squad uh, with Turtwick and Shinx. Adding Mew and Jirachi to our team, they're not going to be part of our actual team that goes through the game. But, I am going to be keeping them in my party so that they can level up. I'm just not going to be using them, and then when we get into our gym battles, I will take them out, put them in the box while we wait. 
Okay, let's talk to this lady here. Grace Adia flowers, they're given as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's, it's a tradition. Oh, wow. Pick a peck of colors, flower shop. No thanks. Actually, yeah, let's go in, let's go in. Let's buy some flowers. Why not, it can't hurt, right? Excuse me, excuse me, I'd like some flowers. Oh, oh no, you don't want to talk to me there? Talk to me here? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't have any of these. Okay, but that's good though. I am going to want some stickers at some point. Maybe that's something that I'll do off screen. Um, because I do want to do up those Pokeball capsules. But thank you very much. We'll make our way off. Uh, let's move on. I think the cutscene should happen this way, right? Alright, I'm just checking for items. Sorry. Oh, hey little lady. How you doing? Help, help, trainer. Please. Can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dress like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Space aliens do tend to be kind of mean, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. Oh, now, here we would also have the chance to get Drifloon, but they are not here because Drifloon only shows up on Friday, and it is Saturday right now. It was Friday yesterday when the game came out, and I didn't get here in time, so... Yay me! <laughs> Um, it's okay, Drifloon wasn't going to be part of our team anyway. Don't you dare... Oh, hang on, I've got to put on my Team Galactic voice that I established in the first episode. Uh, what was it? Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. I don't know if that was quite how I did it yesterday. I'll have to like go back and watch it, which I did do. I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep to the voices that I've established. Uh, I feel like that's a good way of doing a, a, a let's play playthrough thing. I don't know, I'm trying to pick up on YouTuber traits, you know? Uh, let's hit him with a bullet. Seed. Seed bullet. The quick claw on Turt Twig, I think, is a really good early game play. Look at this, one shot in, one shot in. Yes, excellent stuff, Turtwig, you are the man. Uh, also, in our last episode, Turtwig did not evolve into Grottle when I thought that he might. You, excellent stuff, well done. Jirachi grew to level 6, then Mew to level 5. Off. I mean, Mew's almost at level 6 himself, so... The only reason that I am going to level up Mew and Jirachi is because uh, I don't think I'm going to use them in a different playthrough, so I may as well use them here. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some key. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key is not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Yeah, it's down there. Take a left, head right, and then you're right there where they are. Ha! Huh. In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Alrighty. Well, let's go fuck up some galactic space aliens in a flower patch. I think this is a... There was more pictures and stuff that I saw from the trailers and things that showed off this area really nicely. Yeah, all the petals in the, in the wind. That's really good. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet, sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Oh, shit. Hey, this kid's a witness. What will we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Double battle time. I'm hoping that that Team Galactic... Oh, no, it's not a double battle. It's just a regular battle, but probably two of them. Right. I'm hoping that my Team Galactic voice is as obnoxious as possible and that you do not want to listen to me while I speak as them. And we got it. Nicely done, nicely done. Uh, and then I assume we have to take on his partner as well. We have to level- Mew is flying, man. He was at level one just a second ago. 
why is he getting so many more levels than Zirachi? I'm gonna have to check to make sure they're not like considered to be traded Pokemon. That's so odd. Hey! What? Shinx is evolving. Look at this, hey? I really thought we'd get Grottle first. That's one of my favorite things in Pokemon games is seeing the evolution screen. Here we go. Congratulations, your Shinx evolved into Luxio. Look at us, hey? Making moves. Luxio's data will be added to the Pokedex. It rests its four legs on others to communicate with rhythmic electric pulses from its claws. I am definitely a cat person, so I am here for this. You love to see it. This is so lame, they're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. Ha 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 ha. Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you. Give. Ah, yeah, I don't know, I stuffed that sentence up. Anyway, moving on. Battling. Okay, we'll tackle him again. We should be right to go. Who decided that Zubats were gonna be like the. the ultimate bad guy team Pokemon? Because they're with like all of them, aren't they? Or most of them, at least the ones where Zubat is in the region. Maybe Mew... Mew got less then, and still looked like he went up higher, so maybe it's just like cheaper for him to level up, I suppose. If only I had some decent Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, you had a fucking Zubat, dude. This brat's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for now, let's get back to the Valley Wind Works. How's my obnoxious Team Galactic voice going? Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Wind Works. Oh, thanks for that, dude. I did not put that together. It's of no use to me, so, you know, you can have it. We got the works key. Very nice. Now we can open that fucking door that the dude closed on us. Those goons are trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet, delectable honey. They sure were weird though, I mean, you saw how they were dressed, and spoke, and just sounded odd. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh! I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? You obtained a jar of honey. Yeah, thanks dude, I'll, I'll take some of you. Sweet, sweet, delectable honey. Sure. If you slather that honey on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. So that's I'm pretty sure how you get Heracross. Uh, and Munchlax, and a couple other Pokemon as well. Let's just chuck some on this tree, because why not, hey? Eh? And then, I'm not very knowledgeable on how that mechanic works. Um, I think you have to check back in a few hours' time, or something like that. It's locked from inside. Would you like to use the key? Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just hold on to that key. Here we go. What? No way. You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser. Oh, damn. I must alert the commander. I don't think I'm nailing the voice from how I did it yesterday. I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to go back and check on that. What's up, dude? I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. Ugh. So I think at the end of this uh, building, there's a battle with a Perugly, which, from what I understand, is like a tough uh, Nuzlocke battle. It's like the first real test, I think. But lucky for us, we're not doing a Nuzlocke, so it literally does not matter. So, of course, you know, I had to bring up a back has no bearing on what we're doing. It's only right, you know. I'm just trying to, like, drop hints of knowledge so that I can, like, prove that, oh yeah, I did play this game before and I'm not just making shit up, you know. Because this, you know, this was my original Pokemon game, really. I played back on the DS when I was, like, 10 years old. 
first one that I ever completed. I think it was probably the first one that I ever played in general. Um, it just happened to be right when we were getting into that sort of stuff. So I never had a Game Boy, so all the other games before that were Game Boy. I just had the DS to start with. Uh, and then went from there. So this was the first game on DS. The fact that it took Pokemon so long to like get onto the big screen. Um, I mean, I know that they had the spin-off games with Battle Stadium and, and things like that. Battle Stadium? I keep saying Stadium. It's just Pokemon Stadium. Um, but they, they don't count, really, you know? They're really good games, but they're not the mainline games. What's up, dude? Collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks. That's our mission. Thanks, dude. It's on their website um, for the Team Galactic. Collecting wind from Valley Windworks, or whatever it fucking says. It's on the front page. It's a front. It's like a money laundering scheme, you know? Um, there's, yeah, like a bunch of cat Pokemon that I do really like, but then sometimes they just, like, don't... I don't know, they don't hit that sweet spot of, like, what I'm actually into. Which is hard to say without seeing them. Like, I don't have, like, criteria in my mind of what they need to look like to look good, or how I like them, but... Um, like that one, Glam Meow, not, not really a fan. I would never use it. I reckon we will run back and heal. Oh, you're the dude who had the, the key. Lovely. So, this is going to be a little bit of a mini boss battle. If we have more Pokemon than them, that's okay. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a bit sad. Let's battle. If I win, you leave. If you win, we fuck off. Sounds good to me. Uh, if there are any issues with buffering or lag, then just let me know, okay? So like, occasionally there, there might be. Um, but fingers crossed there's not. I don't know how technology works, you know? So I'm just trying my best. Oh, and also, Tetrick did not evolve at level 17. I didn't take note of that as it happened. Thank God we avoided that. I hate things. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's get a move on. Um, I don't think Bullet Seed's going to do much, but maybe we can get lucky with like a 5 five bang. You turn. That was that was a good move. Yeah. Actually, this should help us, because it's going to turn into Perugly, which won't be not very effective to draft. So... I predicted that. I predicted that. Alright, hopefully this doesn't hit twice. That'd be such a shame. Oh my god, okay. Awesome. We'll go raise the leaf on this one. Look at the plays over here. I mean, this is better AI, I suppose. But I'm pretty sure it's just... He wants to... Or she wants to make sure that she... Fucks off with Zubat first and then sends out Perugly as, like, the boss. Alright, please don't confuse us. Oh, thank god. We dodged three super soldiers. I'll take that every day. Okay, that should be better on my microphone. I think it was a little bit quiet before. Um, I had knocked a setting on there that I hadn't realized. Let me just do a quick sound check. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Sorry about that. I keep fucking up the sound. I fucked it up in the last episode as well. Uh, or in a stream I did the other day. Uh, we'll raise a leaf this one. Whoa. Turtwig, please don't die on us. We got a job to do. Yikes. And he took our quick claw? No. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Ah, she had a berry. Damn. If we were doing a Nuzlocke, this would be dangerous territory. But, we're not. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That sucks. 
I'm not going to get the massive experience from getting the Perugly up out of there. Do I have a revive on me? I don't think I do, would I? That's a, that's a real shame. Let me have a check. If I have one, no, damn. Ah, we're going to miss out. Oh well. Turtwig's going to have to wait to evolve. Which I'm surprised he evolves at level 18. I, I really thought it would be earlier than that. I can see why this Perugly gives people trouble in Nuzlocke's. Not that I, like, tried to avoid that death. I just kept battling until he went, but, you know. Ah, oh, man, that would have been so good. That's a shame. Oh, well. We'll have to get Turtwig some levels other ways. I think there's still a few people to verse. Oops. I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave. Bye. Oh, we got a nerd on our hands. I well, was saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy, no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. That's a terrible voice. I'm not going to do that. Bloody hell. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my daughter again. Wow, that was... That's a bit much. Ew, you smell like shit. Go shower. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I do smell like shit. Don't clip that and take that out of context. Because... That would be not great. Thanks, trainer dude. You, uh, helped. Yeah, the balloon Pokemon will be here later. Awesome. We reunited a uh, father and his daughter. Look at us go, hey? Saving the world one child at a time. You're going to battle me, right? Yes. Fantastic. Sure. This guy's probably going to be a bug catcher, right? No, camper. Ah. Whoa, that's not great for Turtwig either. A fucking fire type. Awesome. Uh, let's tackle him, I suppose. We'll tackle the fire horse. Yikes. Okay. We could be in trouble. Ooh, it's going to be tight. I can't also die. Is this going to lower our defense or our special defense? Defense, okay. We should be okay. Because Ember is a special defense move. Special attack move, excuse me. Oh man, I don't know. Can we live one more? I think so. It would be great if our Quick Claw activated. It did not. Oh my god. Turtwig, you're cutting these fucking close, dude. But, hey, we killed the fire horse, so go us. Oh, that really dampened my spirits, get it? Because he had a fire type, and we dampened his spirits, so we, like, put out his fire. You get it, right? You get it. X attack, awesome. An item I'll never use. Alright, we should be able to mess this dude up. Each, if you, if you don't know much about Pokemon, each of these trainers have, like, a trait... So this guy's a hiker, right? So he's usually going through mountains. Mountains are usually quite rocky. Uh, so he sends out rock-type Pokemon or ground-type Pokemon or something like that. Uh, so usually when you run into someone like this, he's going to have a lot of Geodudes, some Onyx. Um, so we should be able to take him out pretty easily with a Grass-type. Generally, most nights are quiet nights in... Um, I don't remember the last time I went out to town or something, god. Um, I did go out today though, uh, it was my birthday present for my brother, my younger brother, yeah, it's his birthday next week, so we went out to X-Golf, we had a bit of fun there, that was, that was, uh, not bad. I had been before, but he hadn't, uh, he hadn't been before. He hasn't actually been golfing in a long time, we used to golf quite a bit when we were younger, 
Um, and we were both pretty handy back in the day. We uh, used to live across the road from a golf course, so, you know, we played there quite a bit. Um, so I thought for his birthday present this year, I'll take him out to X-Golf. X-Golf is like virtual golf. If you've seen on my channel, I, ha I have a, uh, a video of me going to X-Golf with a couple of, couple of boys. I played okay. He played not very well at all. Ah! The moment of truth. Here we go. Turtwig is evolving. Thank God. A bit of an underwhelming evolution screen. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of... I think it was blue back in the day. I kind of prefer that. Congratulations. We've got a grotto. Thank you very much. Its shell is hardened soil. Some Pokemon come to peck the berries growing on the trees on its back. Uh, how's the egg going? Ah, it's gonna hatch soon. I think it's a Manaphy, right? Mew and Jirachi also coming along nicely. Good to see, good to see. A Pokeball, lovely. There we go, do a little hop, skip and a jump. Hey, I knew there'd be an item in there. You gotta think like a game developer, you know? Ooh, random space with nothing on it. Let's chuck a hidden item. It's a long way between Floroma Town and Eternity City, so let's let's duke it out. Stick them up. What's up, Camper Zachary? Oh, I just changed into a Pokemon that's going to do zero damage. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe I'll swap back. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put, I'll put Grogl out first until we actually reach the forest. How's that sound? There's only like one or two battles left. I thought we'd be fine, but apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, big smack in the face. Um, I'm not going to reheal my Pokemon either because once we get into the forest, we should be all right. Okay, yeah, we should definitely swap because that might be another guy with some rock types, which is not going to be for Luxio. Hello, hello friend. How are you today? Just the one. Onyx. Come on, Onyx. Yes. See? I know my stuff. Onyx is slightly stronger, so they just give him the one. I do wish that these Pokemon were slightly more to scale. Obviously that Onyx is like, kinda big. But I feel like, in the anime, Onyx is... Enormous. Like, friggin' enormous. Dude, you know? Like, the size of many buildings. With Brock in the first, um, first region, I feel like that Onyx was massive. Like, its head was bigger than a person. Alright, good work, Grotto. We're smashing it. Hello, lady. Hey, I'm not trained to hold back. <laughs> I'm about to throw these hands. All these feet. Machop. I am a Machop fan. I hate to do it to him, but... About to get absolutely... Freaking wrecked, brother. Ooh. Nearly a one-shot, nearly a one-shot, but we're not in any danger here. That actually did more damage than I thought. I think low kick does more damage the um, heavier they are, right? Grotto's pretty heavy, I'm pretty sure. Excellent. We're rolling through these guys. Absolutely steamrolling them. Yeah, we'll, we'll learn Spark for sure. Uh, let's... Thundershock, 40 and 100, 65. Let's do Tackle. We don't need Tackle anymore. Yeah. We got Bite if we want to hit something physically. Um, that's not an electric type move, so we should be right. Mew grew to level 15. Mew is strong, dude. Mew is strong. I guess, you know, that's why it's a mythical Pokemon. Um, so if you don't know the lore of Pokemon, I believe it's that Mew is... The 
origin of all Pokemon. So everything evolved from a Mew over time. There was only Mew that existed in the world. Only like hundreds and thousands and millions of Mew out there. Um, obviously not including the legendaries for the most part. Uh, and then gradually over time, these Mew changed into Turtwig and Luxray and Bidoofs and Pikachus and all sorts of things based on like where they lived in their environment. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's correct. Don't quote me on it because I'm not a bloody genius, except I am sometimes. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's the lore of, of Pokemon. Alright, this Piplup's got no idea what it's about to get hit with. Oh, absolutely smashed. Imagine being a Piplup and being like, Haha, I'm going to have my first battle. Bullet to the face. Multiple times. Grass. Cop some of that. Ah, oh, boo! How insulting. I mean, you insulted me by thinking you could win with just a Piplup. I mean... Super Potion. Can never have too many Super Potions. Uh, don't want to jump that. I think this house actually heals you, so we'll, we'll go in and we'll have a bit of a chat. I think you can get through a turn of forest by yourself. Uh, that's a little foreshadowing for not doing it by yourself, because it's going to be a double team. Yes, we'll rest. That's good, I didn't have to run back to the Pokemon Center. We do look completely refreshed, and you know why? Because we just had a nice little snooze. A little nappy nap. Hey, how we going? Mmm. I would go back and buy some antidotes, my friend. You're only a small child. Now, we can't cut anything yet, because we're going to have to get the gym badge at our next... Our next uh, town. But for now, I think I'm going to call it there um, on YouTube, Twitch. I'll continue on. Um, but we'll take our little break, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, for YouTube, though... I think that's going to be the end of our second episode in the next uh, in the next one. Make sure you tune in so that you can see us make our way through uh, a turn of forest. Uh, so today we, we took out the Valley Windworks. We evolved both our Luxio and our Grottle. And we added Mew and Jirachi into our team uh, to go along with us just for a little while. Uh, and we leveled them up as we go along, but they're not joining our team permanently. That's why they're not in our Pearl squad on the side there. Um, but they're here nonetheless with our Luxio and our Grottle to boot. And so check us out next episode, making our way through a turn of forest with the help of a certain someone. So thank you very much. Uh, in the comments down below, how about you let me know uh, maybe for our little question of the day. Uh, have you ever nuzlocked this game and been taken out by Perugly? What's one of your better nuzlocking stories? Uh, maybe some triumph or maybe some struggles. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one, YouTube. Bye-bye. <laughs>